Hello scientists! Today we're going to talk about energy, in particular potential and kinetic energy. Now, there are many different forms of energy. Can you think of what some of them are? Think. What did you come up with, scientists? Did you think of energy from the sun? either coming as light energy or heat energy? What about when you plug something into an outlet in the wall? What about electrical energy? Can you think of any other kinds? What about in this pear on the cutting board? Does it have any energy? What about when it's hanging from a string? Does it have any energy here? What do you think? Let's do a little investigation to start with a plain old rubber band. Pause the video and go and grab one if you can find one. I went and found two. I've got a purple one and a pink one, and I bet you can see some of the differences, right? There's the purple one. There's the pink one. Just sitting there on my hand, right? But let me ask you, can they do anything? What can a rubber band do? What kind of energy do you think it has? If I take my rubber band and I stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, what's going to happen when I let it go? What about with this purple one? Stretch it, stretch it. Ooh, this one's a lot harder to stretch. Hmm. If I were going to shoot both of these rubber bands across the room at a target, how could they go from this? to flying across the room. What is it in these rubber bands? Well, it has something to do with this. But what is it about this that can transfer energy into movement? Potential energy and kinetic energy. potential energy and kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. Ouch. Kinetic energy. Oh my god. I cannot believe you can't shoot a rubber band across the room. Kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. So take a look at this list of situations and think about what they have in common. A skateboarder at the top of a ramp, an egg on the edge of a table, you at the top of a slide, water held back by a beaver dam, a ball before it is thrown. Energy, potential and kinetic. If we take it down to basics, then we can say that energy makes things happen. Potential energy is stored in an object due to its position. Kinetic energy is associated with the motion of an object. When an object moves, energy can be converted between potential and kinetic and back again. Is that confusing? Take a look here. When you drop a ball, like this basketball that's shown here, it's being pulled toward the ground by gravity. The potential energy of the ball when it's still changes into kinetic energy as it falls toward the ground, being pulled by gravity. The kinetic energy changes back into potential energy as the ball rebounds back up from the floor. Think about it, if you let it keep bouncing, eventually the ball is going to stop bouncing, right? It's going to come to rest and it will be out of kinetic energy. So in this photo, what kind of energy does the basketball have? Energy, potential and kinetic. Scientists, for sure you have potential. You have potential, and you have potential energy, and you have kinetic energy. 
why don't you apply what you've learned today to your roller coaster design? And keep watching if you want to continue to investigate potential and kinetic energy. We're going to make an origami jumping frog. We'll construct a pendulum. We'll explore the mystery of the swinging pair. And you can get out every rubber band in your house to practice transforming potential energy into kinetic energy. Okay, scientists, thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that lesson? Subscribe below to see more fun science videos. You can also become a member of PS Science on Patreon to support what we're doing. See you next time.